these choppers gon' blast. Uh, uh. I got that check now, uh, flex now, uh, bust down, uh, look at my wrist now. Uh, 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 uh. I don't wanna text now, uh, give me my check now. Hey, welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel so today i am going to be doing my curly hair routine and as you guys can see these curls are popping so if you want to see how i got my hair like this and how i got these curls make sure y'all continue to watch one thing i did want to mention before i start the video i do not know what type of hair i have so i don't know if it's like 3a 3b 4s all this other stuff i have never known what type of hair i have so if that's a question that y'all do have because i know in the video i say ask me questions i do not know i may do a video trying to figure it out doing different things or going to a professional and letting them tell me like what type of natural hair i have but yes my hair is completely natural this color is the color it is is because i dyed my hair if y'all want to see that video it's on my channel and i bleached and dyed my hair like an orange tint and then i dyed my hair black so then the black faded and now it's this color now so this is what i'm working with um so i don't know like what color this is if i want to dye your hair this color but my hair is definitely not black is i don't know if y'all can see in the ring light but it's not black but yeah so those are just a quick couple questions that i wanted to answer before we got into the video other than that usually i don't really like go through and detangle my hair bit by bit piece by piece i usually just put the product all over and then go from there so today i'm kind of excited because i've seen these pictures on pinterest like i'm always on pinterest and where the girls were like their hair curly like all the way around and usually i part mine down the middle so i'm gonna insert the pictures maybe or something and then show y'all what the look i'm trying to go for and yeah so this is what we're working with my hair is not um it's not freshly washed, but it's freshly conditioned. So I did like a um, leave-in or rinse-out conditioner. And um, yeah, so I use the main choice, this one. This is the one I use. Sorry if I'm ashy, y'all just got a shower, obviously. But yeah, so that's the one that I used while I was in the shower and I just detangled my hair. And this is my natural curl, so it's no product in my hair. I rinsed out that conditioner. So yeah, so the look I'm going for is like, it's it's like this basically, but we're gonna try to make it look more defined and better, obviously, because this is not that cute. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna go through the products and just show y'all what I may or may not use. And obviously as the video goes on, I will uh, tell y'all what I am using. But this first thing is this, I do not know how to pronounce this brand. I don't wanna say it wrong, but yeah, I love their hair stuff. And this is the Hawaiian Ginger um, Moisturizing Hair Butter. And then I have the same like grouping one and this is the Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. And then I also have this one. This is the different one. This is the White Pony Leave-In Conditioner. And then this one, this is the Pomegranate and Honey Curl Smoothie. And I'm also going to be using uh, Eco Styler Gel. So, and of course, um, some water. And then I'm just going to oil my scalp before I start. This is just some Do Grow um, Mega Thick formula hair oil and i've been meaning to get some new oil some new black castor oil and i want to try some more oil but i don't know which kind yet so i haven't started but yeah so I'm just gonna start by oiling my scalp so i had to change up the angle y'all can see my little setup or whatever but it is what it is we're just gonna go ahead and get into it so i'm just gonna start by parting my hair um in sections and i'm thinking i was gonna do like four parts but i'm just gonna do like oh y'all can't even see I'm just gonna part it like this and go from there. And the parts obviously don't have to be straight. I'm just gonna do like different sections so I could um, detangle. So this gonna be my first section. And y'all I'm excited because my hair is finally growing. And if you're not an OG and you don't remember that I cut my hair, then what are you doing join the team find out when i cut my hair go watch that video <laughs> but y'all my hair is growing i'm gonna do a video on like my natural hair journey so that'll be another video that i'm gonna do but stay tuned for that <laughs> first thing that i'm going to do is um i have this brush i don't really know what it's called it's my friend's tangler brush but most of the time i use my denim brush 
but I probably gonna use this one just because I like the way it looks and it's, the idea of it is pretty cool. So first things first I'm going to do is wet my hair. Oh, spray bottle not working. <laughs> Y'all, oh there you go. I'm gonna say I just put, why is not? Y'all, this thing is not working properly. Oh, so I'm just gonna get my hair all saturated. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you can hear the difference. Okay, so I'm just gonna saturate my hair. From now, if y'all can see, it's my natural curl. And then I'm going to go in with the, oh, actually, um, I'm trying to decide which one I'm going to use. I think I'm just going to use this leave-in conditioner. This is the leave-in conditioner I'm going to use. If y'all hear my dog barking, excuse him. But yeah, so I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to take some and put it throughout my hair. And I'm already loving my girl already. So I'm just gonna take some and put it throughout my hair. Then I am going to take the moisturizing butter. Take a little bit of that. Put that throughout my hair. Alright. Put this throughout my hair. And then I'm going to go in with the curl smoothie, the honey and pomegranate curl smoothie. Just a little bit like that. Okay, so now I'm going to take the tangler brush and I'm just going to brush through it obviously my hair is already detangled but when i do like to detangle i like to go from bottom to top but i know my hair is already detangled so i'm not doing that and as y'all can see the curl definitely changed if y'all can see that y'all see, y'all see it hey. <laughs> but um then i'm going to go in with my eco styler gel just a little bit, not too much. Now I can say with Eco Styler Gel, you want to be careful if you don't want like really crunchy curls because sometimes Eco Styler Gel does make your curls a little crunchy after it dries. But I also feel with Eco Styler Gel, it helps me with um, shrinkage. So like my hair doesn't get as like when it dries, it doesn't go as short as it normally could. And then I'm gonna go back in with this brush with the detangler. Okay. And how I'm feeling about these, I like the way these look. So I'm happy with this curl, as y'all can see. And as y'all can see in the mirror. Yes, happy with that. And then I'm just gonna go section by section. I'm not gonna keep talking because that's pointless. But when I get to the front, then I will show y'all how I plan to do the front. <laughs>
I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do the front because I don't know if they like part their hair in the in the um front and then like have like pieces hanging or if it's just like a natural I don't know. I'm guessing I'm guessing I'm just gonna do these sections and then see if I can part it. Well not part it, but like get it to flow right. And then I guess I can go from there. But uh, for the most part, what I try to do is get at the roots. So that's one thing that um I would mention. Make sure your roots are good. And like I saturate my roots really well. Um, Another thing would be make sure that like I'm actually going through and getting like pieces of hair. Because I know sometimes like if you miss certain pieces, those can get a little frizzy. And then you have to go back. And also, like, as I'm going through, I know I'm, like, combining different sections with sections. So, I'm trying to put, like, a decent amount of product, but also not trying to, like, over put product in my hair. Because I know that that can cause it to not um, dry as well. And then my curls will look a little funny. Sometimes I am very heavy-handed. So, if you do get heavy-handed, it's fine, like, with product. But you just want to make sure, like if you do end up going back it's not like you know why that's what i'm trying to say like so if you were heavy-handed this time so say like i was heavy-handed in one of my sections and i see that it is dry as well next time i know okay i was very like you know i put a lot of product right there or this type of product and now i know next time to not do that a decent amount of products i know mix well with eco styler gel but there are <laughs> But there are um, a handful of products that don't mix well with Eco Styler Gel. So that can cause different like things. So now, the only thing that I was worried about with my hair is, in the front, my hair was damaged. It's not 100% chest. It's not 100% um, like the rest of my hair. So you can kind of tell the difference. So I may be putting like a little more product or showing a little bit more attention to the front of my head because it was damaged at one point. But it was, I came a long way with it being damaged because before it wouldn't even curl at all. But now it curls for the most part, but it's not as a tight curl as the rest of my hair. But you know, I'm just happy that it curls because like I said, one point in time, the front of my hair was not curling like at all. It was just straight. And it was mainly this middle, middle section because I was um getting leave outs and flat ironing the front of my head with middle parts and stuff like that. I just cut all that out. So if I get a sewing or something, is definitely going to be um a wig or like a full coverage wig or it's going to be a closure or something in that sorts i don't do no type of leave outs last time i flattened my hair was when i did that video and now and it, the time before that was a year before that so i don't put no type of heat to my hair unless i absolutely have to blow dry it most of the time when i'm washing my hair i don't um i don't blow dry it I just let it air dry, put some um, twist or some type of braids in it, let it air dry, and then I just go and style my hair. It kind of is like the same for me. I never have to like have to blow dry my hair for a style, so I don't run into that problem. I think that's help, that helped me with like getting my heat damage under control and everything. And like I said, as you guys can kind of tell, like my curl pattern is more loose up here than in the back. So I'm not really, you know, it's a, it's, it's a lot being natural. <laughs> it is a lot. Um, I know protective styles have helped me a lot with not putting heat in my hair or me not wanting to fly in my hair. It is coming up on my year anniversary. I'm now doing that to where I will be flying my hair every year to see the growth. So I'm kind of excited about that. I definitely, of course, will be posting a video. And if y'all wanted to see like how my hair looked flat iron um almost a year ago y'all can go check out that video i'll put it um in a link down below or of course it's just on my channel so this is how we're looking i'm i'm looking okay okay i feel like once it dries and you guys may or may not know but like once the hair dries 
it's a whole different type of <laughs> it's a whole different ball game out here once the hair gets dry because it, then it, my hair it looks more um big and has more volume and everything so i'm excited because my curls are definitely defined right now so like i said um also coming through from the ends i may gotta purchase me one of these and keep stealing my friends because this one I love the way it um, works. And when I figure out, I'm gonna ask her when she comes back what brand or whatever this is. And I'll definitely um, drop it in the description box below and let you guys know what brand it is. So this is what we're working with now. And hopefully I found a good picture to show you guys the look I'm going for so y'all can understand like what I'm trying to do. Because if y'all don't understand what I'm trying to do, this may be a little confusing. And I'm like, question it, um, you're just curling your hair, but it's a look that I'm going for. So hopefully I can achieve it. Cause like I said, usually I'll just part my hair down the middle, wear my hair like this, wait for it to get big and pluck it out. But not the look I'm going for this time, and I'm so proud of my hair in the front because, like, it usually did, it usually does not do this. Like when I tell y'all, my hair did not curl at all. Like it did not curl at all. So now I'm gonna figure out. See, this is too long, so I'm trying to think. Like, do I need to put more hair to the back so that it doesn't cover my eyes, or but I need hair to the front. I'm thinking, okay, I'm thinking it's just gonna have to flow like this and kind of be like at the crown of my head and then be scrunching it. So what I did realize before I started recording, okay, well, let me just show y'all this. So it is, this is the, how we're looking. I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna go back through with a little bit more Eco Styler Gel and um, a little bit of the Curl Smoothie, just the get it all over make sure some of my hairs are saturated i'm not gonna run my fingers through it anymore i'm just scrunching it i feel like this helps my hair a lot because this gets my curls to bounce up so definitely scrunching your hair well for me works wonders and i have um the eco styling gel in my hand right now as i'm scrunching Okay, so what I was saying that I realized is that um, I'm going to blow dry my hair. Now, y'all just heard me say I don't blow dry my hair. Usually when I curl my hair, I don't blow dry it. But I think for this look, I definitely need to blow dry Not blow dry it, but on a cool setting. And what I am upset about is the fact that I do not have my diffuser. Because that would have just been perfect. So I'm just gonna have to blow dry it and scrunch it as I blow dry it and you guys will see how this comes out. Okay, yeah. so I definitely left my diffuser at my house. If y'all don't know, this is my new apartment. If you didn't know that, you should go check out my um, video and I'll show y'all like, this is my new apartment. So I left it at my house, so I'm just gonna have to blow dry it. I'm gonna blow dry it on the high, cool setting. And um, I'm just gonna go around and do this as I blow dry it. Of course, my diffuser would have made a big difference, but gonna work with what I got and we're just gonna see how this goes. My hair is drying in the process of drying. As y'all can see, it's starting to look better. Definitely don't think I'm gonna be able to pull off that look. I'm gonna wait till my, why am I? <laughs> I'm gonna wait till my hair dries a little bit more, but I'm actually loving how my curls are looking. This part is a little frizzy, and that's because I was messing with it, trying to figure out which part I wanted to do. I think I'm gonna go ahead and split my hair down the middle so that I'm able to leave it alone and let it dry so my other curls don't mess up. But I'm thinking I'm just gonna do middle part like I always do, but at least y'all saw my curly hair routine. And then I'm going to do my edges when my hair dries, so. Like 10 o'clock now i definitely think my hair is 100 percent dry now and as y'all can see the curls are popping so this is my hair the back's probably a little poofy because i was laying on the couch it takes so long for my hair to dry but i'm definitely excited about the results so i was gonna do a middle part and split it but it started to kind of look how i wanted it to look in the front like shorter and my hair is still split but like not like an actual part 
so i'm still kind of i'm like really happy with the results so as y'all can see my hair did shrink up but not to the point where it's like too short but you can definitely see how me defining my curls especially in the front and on the sides and i was just playing with it and just taking a pic and going through my roots like this and that's kind of why the top of it is a little bit puffy but in order for me to get it like big and for it to be a little bit cuter for my from my point of view i had to just you know fluff it out but i'm so excited and i can't wait for me to actually put clothes on tomorrow because like i told y'all the diffuser would have helped me a lot but i didn't have the diffuser so i had to let it air dry but i love the air dry like it's really cute i'm feeling it and i'm really like the curls it's the curls for me <laughs> so yeah this is it like i said i'm not really sure how the back looks the back might be a little poofy but the front yes also when i was like plucking this out and stuff i know it might have looked lopsided but you just have to pluck it to how you like it and each side not gonna be perfect like this side might be a little bit puffier than this side but that's why i just keep playing with it and try to get it as even as possible one thing i will say though the more that i like touching and stuff the more frizzy it might get so if you don't really have to like do what i'm doing but i kind of like the frizzy look because the curls like in the front or more like defined if that makes sense but that's just my preference but like the less you touch it the less like poofier uh poofy it will get so yeah so that's just another tip that i wanted to mention like the less i touch my hair the more like defined and like flat it looks so the more i touch it is like the more volume and more kind of like frizzy it does get though so of course this is gonna be the end of the video if y'all have any questions about any products that i use comment them down in the description box below i will be doing a natural hair journey i don't know when i'm gonna be posting more y'all i promise i'm gonna post more i know i say that a lot and then i don't post but stuff like this is easy for me to do on the weekend so i'm going to be posting more just stay tuned and don't give up on me y'all hey. don't give up on me so like i said this is gonna be the end of the video make sure i like comment and subscribe and i'll catch y'all next video bye Press on me the long way guess how much on me now i got that check now huh flex now huh?